here I have a problem with randomized numbers. In my case, uh, the spring constant, the total energy, and the initial position uh, are randomized. Now, I want to randomize a bit more. In this case, uh, here I made it that it's based on uh, a cosine function. So I want to change this as based on a sine function. So how do I do this? Let me go back in the code. So the first time I'm actually using the cosine function is uh, down here, where I calculate my phase constant. So uh, instead of cosine, I want to use uh, sine as an option. So what I do is I'm going to add two possible cases. So I'm going to do here case uh, shows, and I make a note to myself. Uh, one is cosine, uh, two is sine. And now I'm going to do an if. Uh, if case is one, then in this case is R cosine, else uh, we're going to be using R sine. And now we know I'm, I'm not going to need that one here. Now my answer will calculate based on R cosine one case uh, and based on sine uh, in the other case. Now how do I update this in the in the question? So here uh -huh, it appears down here based on. So here I'm gonna just make my text finish here and then I do again my if uh, branching if case is one my question I'm going to append the text this question is question two and I'm just going to add what I had before cosine and if it is case two then I'm going to display um, sign here. And now let's see if that worked. So something is wrong. What did I do wrong? I did something sign cause. Ah, here. Work sign. Okay, so um, blah, 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 blah. Now it did it with sign, right? So it should technically uh, work uh, if I want to see what happens so with sign. So amplitude of the system, uh, actually I can show the correct answers. Uh, so here we have the amplitude of the system. That sounds about right. So in my case, so now in my case, it is planned with sine. If I want to check the other one, um, what I have to do is I actually have to uh, temporarily override here my case. So if case equals to one, then it should show me the one with cosine and we'll calculate the answer based on cosine. It doesn't change anything for A in this case. Uh, if I'm going on two, then it will calculate me uh, the answer in sine. So uh, before I save this and make it go live, I of course have to remove my uh, random overwrite. And let's do this again. Uh, so now I'm having a sine or at random, some students will get cosine. Uh, now, if you're a physics teacher, you know that there is now another problem with this, which is one of the two is much easier than the other. Uh, so I will have to make some adjustments as well in the question uh, just to make them equally uh, challenging. And uh, yeah, if you're a student, think about what I'm 
uh, what I'm talking here about. I'm not going to tell you. That's not the point of this video.